The Gospel is a tale of trees. It begins with John and Jesus warning about the fruitless trees being cast into the fire. When Jesus goes into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, he finds that the temple is like a fruitless tree. And just after that, he curses a fig tree and it withers. But then Jesus himself goes to the cross. He's nailed to a tree and he himself looks like a fruitless tree. He's bearing the curse that he pronounced against Israel. Then he rises again, a branch from the stump of Jesse, new life from dead wood. But Jesus doesn't stay a branch. Jesus says that he's the kingdom. The kingdom is like a mustard seed that goes into the ground and doesn't just grow up as a small shoot, but grows into a great tree where the birds of the air find nests and the beasts find shade under the branches. Jesus is alluding back to Daniel 4, where Nebuchadnezzar is described as a great cedar tree that spreads out and provides shade for the beasts and nests for the birds. Jesus is the imperial tree. Jesus is the cosmic tree. He rises from the dead as the branch from Jesse, but then he ascends in order to be a tree that connects heaven and earth and that provides fruit and shade for those who come to him. May God grant you grace to find shade and good food from Jesus, the cosmic tree, the tree of life.